Hello, good morning. Welcome to dot programming dot blogspot dot com. Today I will show you uh, how to create database retrieve database table uh, items in MVC SP dot net MVC. So first of all, create a new project, uh, the web applications uh, using MVC. MVC basically used for the uh, separations of uh, the classes and uh, data business layers and the data tiles. So in this tutorial, I will talk about uh, how to create a database table in ASP.NET MVC. Okay. Uh, yeah. Created successfully. Now. Uh, First of all, manage nugget packages. Mm, the package manager console as well as the package manager online. Uh, by using this uh, package manager, we can install entity framework uh, into my application because uh, for retrieving database table. Uh, I will use entity framework yeah that is entity framework is there entity framework search oops no item found in all again press enter yeah we have entity framework now press to install and install entity framework in my solution you can also install entity framework by using package manager console uh, I will provide you a video uh, through you can install entity framework by using package manager consoles okay now after installing you can uh, inherit some classes like the DB context class in the code first approach so but in this video tutorials I will create a database first and then access the database item you can say the table in MVC application so this is the web.config file here we have a connection string okay in the later session I will add the connection string in web.config file so first of all add a SQL server database into my application the database name is database.mdf the mdf for ma uh, master database file okay yeah uh, now after that you can double click on the database.mdf file and open this file into the uh, server explorer now click uh, right click on the table name and add a new table in the solution explorer sorry server explorer you can also check my asp.net video tutorials uh, in this uh, on this video tutorials I will describe how to add a database using visual studio so here you uh, you have to design tables by the square brackets we you can pass the table name my table name is student table in which we have the default a single column that is id in mvc i will create a class for this okay 
um, you can say the model class the id name city are the columns in the table id is automatically incremented by 1 okay and update database yeah successfully uh, updated now add some value in the database table simple right click on it the table name and show table data add some data in the database table my name is Jacob I'm from uh, New York City okay now after uh, successfully created the database table you can go for uh, the model class so prepare a model class class in the model folder class the name of the class is also related to the, your uh, database table that is student so the name of the class is student okay according to my database table I will create three columns and the database table that is ID name and city ID is um, by default by using the model class uh, is a refer to the primary key and the second type and uh, that is name that is string type okay uh, by using the prop and the double tabs you can create a public property in the class string and the last is city okay that's fine by using the um, table annotations by using table annotations that is available in system component model dot data annotations dot schema namespace it's a part of the entity framework package so table and the name of the table that is student table uh, my class name is student and the table name is student table so if you want to map uh, the both class and the table then use the data annotations table student and in the past the name of the database table that is student table okay that's fine now create a, another class that is data context class in the model folder the student context is a class through which we can get uh, the um, values of the database table uh, this class actually inherits from the db context class a db context class actually create the database uh, logical database schemas in which we can create uh, the public properties of the student class public db set and the db set pass a class name that is student and create a public property that is students okay get set data by using the public property that is students we can retrieve all the uh, uh, table columns that is name id and city from the database table so create a context class uh, create a controller class uh, remember that in the global.asx file create a database initializer uh, database is actually exist in system dot data dot entity so database dot set initializer create drop database by using web application 19 dot models dot uh, student context student context is a type of the list so pass the null value in the constructor okay that's fine now 
after do this you can create a class in the controller folder that is home controller the default controller in um, asp.net uh, mvc home controller by using we can create a view for your uh, database table uh, actually in the model folder is actually represent the, your uh, classes and the context classes business layers by using controller action methods we can call our codes uh, the presentation is refer for the view so create a, co a student context object by using the public property that is students we can invoke some classes student st uh, I want to get the single uh, student name by their student ID property so ST for the student uh, context class that is students ST dot students dot where by using the lambda expressions stu dot id is double equals to one oops but we did not get the single record actually uh, actually uh, i want to get the single record so use the single or default method by using the first and default method uh, of the link query we can get the uh, database table the first column and uh, or you can say first occurrence you can get the first or default method and by using the single we can get the single record at a time okay so single dot single stu uh, in which we can pass this uh, lambda expression also stu dot id is double equals to one okay that's fine through which we can get the single record at a time now by using returning view we can pass a model class of instance single student record before creating a view build your project and after creating your uh, controller you can create your view now right click on your controller action method name and add view remember that your name is index is similar your uh, controller template is used for empty model class is student and data context will class is student context okay that's fine Mm, yeah successfully created by using the model at the red model sign we can retrieve uh, all the student uh, columns so prepare a view for designing purpose single student record back dot title is student student ID is at the red model dot student ID 
और यू कैन से आई डी 